Good morning, beautiful snow people. Welcome to another thrill minute action packed, exceptionally moist episode of Ski Patrol Life. I couldn't remember what I'm doing. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it is the 1st of April, and we have a fantastic day. It snowed just a little bit, a little dust on the crust, so to speak. Typical uh, spring conditions. A little over two weeks to go and left in the season. We've got 16 days to be exact, including today. So let's go, shall we? I like that. They are lift ops that have survived the entire season. Alright, everybody, so I volunteered to go over to Navajo because it is not a punishment. Anyhow, I'm headed over there on this luxurious machine. We're gonna set up the bridge sign, set up one, check the O2, set up four, make sure we read the signs, head over six and make sure it's good to go too. So, let's go do that, my friends. Yay, we're here, so happy to be here. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's go. That is odd. No, it's bueno. So yeah, we're taking a good look at all the all the runs, making sure there's no obvious uh, unexpected hazards. Um, taking care of that. Try to keep you beautiful snow people safe as possible. That's all we can do. Doesn't look good. Oh, oh geez. Uh, if you're ever wondering if these things are light, they aren't. <laughs> I'd say about a hundred, maybe a hundred pounds, give or take. Marginally heavy. It's Brandon, he's our captain today. I must salute and bow and curtsy to him every time I see him. So that is pretty much what I do every morning over here on Navajo if I'm on a snowmobile. So sometimes it varies a little bit, but not by much. All right, let's get going. Am I being followed? 
Alrighty, so that is the uh, that's routine for uh, a patroller that's on the snowmobile over here on the Navajo side of uh, Brian Head Resort. Yeah, you try to get as much done as you possibly can. Um, typically, the other patrollers that are over here are involved in doing a bunch of well, not a bunch, but some tuna net down towards the bottom. And that takes a little while, so you try to get as much done as you possibly can in the time allotted. Um, one one thing of note, um, everybody, make sure that uh, make sure. I do not speak for Brian Head uh, Ski Resort, Brian Head Ski Patrol, nothing like that. Uh, my thoughts are my own, generally, except for the other voices. But beyond that, uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, this is not an official channel not official in any way so please don't hold Brian head uh, responsible for the uh, silly things that I may or may not say um, but that being said it is a good idea the whole purpose behind this channel is just to give you guys and gals an idea of what life on ski patrol at least here at Brian head is like I know that every resort is going to be different um, but there's going to be some commonalities I would think so that's that so these that's not fox tracks i don't know what kind of animal that was my daughter hana loves fox tracks <laughs> well she loves foxes and fox tracks are part of that that was for hana <laughs> although i think that was a rabbit maybe a uh yeah some form of rabbit <laughs> It's for you, Rosie. A good day. Good old day. We have a group listen to this. Then you do smell like a hobo the rest of the day. People stay away from you. You don't have to run 1050. Oh, that's funny. Because it's true. Look out of Did you want anything? I did. So it's very warm out there today there, wonderful snow people. We're becoming sun people now. There we go. Close enough. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Yeehaw. Ooh, that's not bad at all. My friends. Oh. Fox prints! Fox prints, Hana! Fox prints! Yeah! Oh, this is so beautiful, people. The snow feels good. It's gonna feel slushy later. <laughs> it's good. Feels good right now. So I like to try to get out and see what the, as much of our terrain as possible is like. Ooh, this is not bad. It was really terribly slushy last week at this time. It's not too bad at the moment. What's up, Tony? What's up? How you doing, man? Foxes are everywhere. <laughs> there are little fox tracks all over the place. Oh, this is fantastic. One of my absolute favorite things about uh, this job is just being able to be out in nature every day. Breathing it in, breathing in that good ass prana. Look at those fox tracks. Love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. So, we do have two weeks. So, if you're back home and uh, Southern California, Las Vegas, wherever you're at. We do have to the 16th of uh, April, and we typically have uh, conditions like this. You know, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's hit or miss. Um, typically we do get a fair amount of snow at this time of year. In fact, we get more this time of year than we do in December, typically, it would seem. Um, not to mention the fact that we actually do have a decent snowpack in most areas, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah. So, as you can see, a lot of you beautiful snow people are having a good time here today. It's fantastic. Hey, what's up, man? 
phone call? Yeah. Oh, the snow is great right now. It's so fun. Oh, that's fun, friends. Woo, bunny rabbit. The snow's a little weird, but not too bad uh, yet. Fox tracks. Not pretty, but doable. Alright, everybody, so I'm headed down on a mission of mercy to uh, Navajo Base. Got somebody down there, you never know what has gone wrong. Um, hopefully it's not somebody that's sick. Because I'd love to not get sick very selfishly. So, here we go, let's go. Woo! <laughs> very slippery, I know this sounds silly, but it's very slippery right now. Be great if it just stays like this. You guys okay? Struggle is real. <sighs> All right, so at very least once every day, I come over here to um, lift six and uh, just go up and see what's going on. Look for things that need work done, like that rope there. So cute. It's awesome. I absolutely love it. Love this time of year. It's nice and warm. Right now the ski is, or the ski, the snow is fantastic. And uh, it hasn't gotten sticky yet so far. So, so that's good. Let's hope it doesn't. All right, here's my hero. Look at that little kiddo in the back. That is so cool. And there's mama. Oh. Hey, Brandon, how Hello. you doing? Fancy fantastic. seeing you up here, pal. You're fantastic. You've risen all the way to Hill Cap. Look, you're wearing your fancy Brian Head Ski Patrol hat. Um, how do you go about earning a Brian Head Ski Patrol hat, my friend? Uh, we have a, a very rigorous checkoff list that we have to... Okay, what does, this, what does that involve? Um, it performs... It pretty much encompasses our entire job. We have to know every single run on both mountains. We have to know every single policy of the mountains. We have to know everything in our patrol handbook procedures about everything in the mountain, safety things, pretty much everything you need to know about this resort we have to know in order to get this hat. You know? How long did it take you to uh, earn that, to do that? Um, all to, to get the hat and yeah. my final check off, it, yeah. it took me the majority of the season and not because I couldn't have done it sooner, but I just wanted to make sure I was more efficient. Nice. Before I, did, I took my final um, exam, if you will. Okay, cool. <clears throat> what, what does it take to be a hill captain um, for Brian Head Ski Patrol, and what um, are the responsibilities involved in that? Um, 
Not everyone can, not everyone can be Hulk captain. Uh, yeah. I think it's someone that um, shows leadership possibilities. He's going to be a hill captain, someone that, that cares a lot about their job. Mm -hmm. Obviously, someone that's going to be full-time that knows a lot about changing things about the resort is going to help. But other than that, though, it's a lot of it is mainly knowing where every single patroller is on both mountains. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if we need to help out a different chair or if we need help on our chair or whatever the case may be on there, knowing where all your patrollers on your chair are at all times. But knowing the capabilities of each patroller on your chair, whether what, the high, what their medical cert is, what they're mm. really proficient at, maybe something we need to work on, so you've got to help them with that. And making sure that um, the safety and the mountain on that chair that you're des designated to is up to par. Cool. All right. Good answer. Oh. <laughs> All right, everybody. It is officially really slushy. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell, but that is really slushy. Wolf track or wolf tracks. Fox tracks. <laughs> Fox tracks. So cute. Yeah, it is super slush right now. Oh. Bleep. Bleep. <laughs> what up? <sighs> the shin tan, man. Yeah, I'm trying to protect my neck from getting. It's all the ridge. <laughs> Well, thus far today has been uh, fairly mellow. One of our favorite things to do is ruin fun. There will be no fun over here. Just kidding. So somebody had decided they're gonna huck over our wind fence here, which seems like a good idea as long as you make it, but they didn't. They went through our ribbon and uh, if you land on one of these, you're gonna have a nice square shaped hole in your chest cavity. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, my friends. That's what I'm talking about. This is some hill captain stuff going on right here. <laughs> he ditched me. And he's carrying a shovel. Most impressive. I feel like Waxing my skis at least once a season is just about enough. <laughs> is that right? Um, that's a that's about a hundred times shy. <laughs> yeah. Oops. So that was really frightening. <laughs> One of the uh, scariest things that we can have happen here at the resort was just that. It's uh, what we call a hanger. It's where you have a person hanging, literally, from one of our carriers on one of the lifts. So he was, uh, geez, probably about five years old. And I won't go into details just for privacy's sake, but uh, luckily he was very lightweight and uh, I don't know if it was a family member that happened to see him or just a lucky happenstance. A gentleman named Tyler um, just happened to be there right then. Hold on. It's really frightening. Glad everything worked out okay. Um, I've rarely uh, skied that fast. So, so the end of the day is nigh. Uh, we probably have about half an hour, maybe, and then we're closing up, and uh, that was crazy, man. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So as you, get on to, as you get onto a lift, please be careful. Make sure you're not, uh, you don't have any straps or backpacks or anything like that that uh, could possibly uh, get caught and make you hang like that. Very scary situation. Glad it worked out okay though. That's all I have to say about that. I did that turn. The day was pretty mellow until it wasn't. Now I'm just clearing, clearing one. And uh, I'll take a look over at eight as well as I go by. Whew. 
Today was wild. So, I didn't call yet. appreciate you all coming along. Um, if, not yet. if I don't talk to you again, please uh, like Stop. the video and subscribe if you're so inclined. And uh, I greatly appreciate you being here, you wonderful snow people. Have a good night.